OK, you're in Microsoft Excel and you want to know how to use does not equal to. So I've got 10 samples here. I've tested them twice and I want to see if the result changes. The way to do this would be to start with an equal sign and then click into the first result. And then we've got to use the does not equal to comparison operator. Now the way to do that is to hold down the shift key on your keyboard and then select this key here. You can see it's the less than comparison operator. It's on the same key as your comma. And then with the shift key still held down, you press this key, which is the greater than comparison operator. And that's on the same key as your full stop. Then once you've done that, you click into the cell that contains the value you want to compare the first value with. So for us, that's test B result. Now if I press enter, it returns true if the values do not equal each other. If I copy this down, you see I get my trues and my falses. So where the values equal each other, I get a false. Where they don't, I get a true. Now what you can do is you can change the trues and the falses to something else. So for example, we might want to say yes if there's been a change and no if the values state the same. So to do that, we put our test within the if function. So I've got if and then our test. I put a comma after our test and then we need to put in the value if true. So instead of true, we want a yes. And instead of false, we want a no. Now if I close the bracket and then copy that down, you can see that my trues and my falses have changed to yeses and nos. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's been useful. If it has, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you next video.